Hi. Hi. You are? My name is Lawrence Strauss. Uh huh. And you are a, what would you call your title of your work? An artist? I'm a painter. You're a painter? Okay. Yes. And do you do other things besides restoration work like this? I do make other paintings, yes I do. Foil? Uh, canvas? Those, exactly. That kind of thing? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Uh, How long have you been working on restoring this mural? I have about 40 hours into it right now. What do you think of the mural itself? Well, thank you for asking. I uh, actually really love it. It's, um, although it's from a background different than where I'm from, it's, it's all about storytelling, yeah. which is what I believe my pictures are about anyway. All the pictures I try to make are about are telling a story, and uh, there seems no more important story to tell than these stories of spiritual revelation. So, uh, yes, it's, it's a great honor to be here. Could you tell us a little bit about the value of this mural as, as a piece of art? I think it's a very special piece of art. Because? Uh, as far as I know, it was built for this building. Yes. And, um, and it probably, I'm sure you know the story of, of why it is uh, here. Yes, it's the, it's the picture of it. It depicts the sacred heart. Jesus, you know, and that's the name of our parish. And, and th that the, the building was off in terms of the window that was supposed yes. to be here, right? Yes. So, so this was somehow prepared for the space, and, um, and it's very unique. It's very, it's a, it's, it's a special thing for this church because of the name, and, uh, and it's a special thing because it was it's kind of it's part me, of the history of the church. It is. It's part of it's just to me, you know, the whole mistake thing. It, it's 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 like um, it's like a gift from God. Yes. Um, yes. Um, that there would be such a mistake, and then you end up with this piece of artwork. And um, so, yeah, I would think it would be highly treasured, and I'm really glad that it's that it's been uncovered after all these years of being obscured. And. Um, I said before, I, I do feel honored to be to have been asked to to contribute to it, to paint it. So, could you tell us a little bit about the technique, or uh, if that's the right word, or how you applied your artistry when you when you saw the mural, and how you chose the paint and and your techniques? Yeah. Well, the, if you, if, thank you. The um, I, did, I was given a couple of very crude photographs of the way it originally looked, and um, I did follow certainly that color scheme. There were parts that were obscured, and um, especially this section, which kind of just seemed gray, bluish gray, and misty. Um, and uh, I just tried to resolve it by linking the, these cloud forms up there and the cloud forms down here. And uh, just continue that across, and, and just try to uh, make it seem it was in, that, as though we're in the, in the background. So there are a couple of things that I just couldn't really see very well, and uh, and so I kind of had to make up. The, uh, the 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 main thing to me was clarity, uh, clarity of form for storytelling, as I was saying before. So that's why there. That's why the. Like for instance, the flesh tones against the uh, the uh, this clouds, this, this mist, yeah, the mist, the clouds, right? Um, Your and hands were, jump right out. They were there. That was purposefully pushed in the direction of orange and green, so that they stand out, and so that you can see it from very far back. Which you know, the closest you get is uh, most people get is uh, what is it? Thirty yards. It's pretty far back. Yeah. It is. Um, so I, everything had, to me, it felt like it had to reproduce very clearly from a, a, a big distance. One of the things that I did do was emphasize the, um, the, the forms that are sculpted in the bas relief. I emphasized them through paint, meaning I created shadows, uh, light and shade. Um, 
just even, even though there is sculpture to, to reflect that, and, and I did that based on, on history, and I looked, uh, I've, I've studied polychrome sculpture, and uh, that's the way that's the way it's done. Is, is that it is they are emphasized. Those things are emphasized. The, uh, it's not just the sculpture, but the paint is there to enhance, to enhance the form. And uh, so that's what I did. Looks beautiful. Looks so. Th it enhances the three-dimensional part of it. Right. 